the 2023-24 SCAC Men's Women's Swimming and Diving Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the University of the Ozarks Men's Women's Swimming and Diving Program that will once again be led as they head into the season of the guys, the head coach, David DeGeis, along with leadership from junior Ethan Spillers and sophomore Chloe Weathers. Coach Ethan, Chloe, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us, Russell. Coach, we'll get started with you. I feel often I, I ask athletes uh, about that reset uh, from the start uh, and the finish of one year into the start of another. And obviously swimming and diving season, such a long journey and climb to, to that mountaintop. But for you as a coach, what does that reset look like for you? How do you kind of get prepared for the start of, the, of a new year? And how excited are you to, to head into to yet another new season here uh, at, with, as the head coach of the Ozarks Men's Women's Swimming Program? Yeah, definitely. Um, every time a season ends, I need to take a little breather, you know, go hang out with my kids and, and focus on them for a little while. And then I kind of evaluate how the season went, how everything went, have those end of season meetings with all my athletes. And we, we kind of just go over, break everything down on what we did, what we, what worked well, what didn't work well, and what we need to change for the next season. And so throughout the summer, I kind of think about that. And I start going over to kind of prep for the next season. I look at um, what we need to change from the previous year. I look at practices from several years back, what I liked, what I didn't like, and kind of the different data that I've, that I've picked up throughout the season. And I start, you know, making new sets, new things, that, new practice ideas that we're going to go through. And it just kind of doing that kind of starts to get me excited about what we can accomplish in, in, in just throughout the season moving forward. And uh, then you get typically get curve balls, like your pools shut down for a little bit. And so you got to uh, throw that out and start, start over with something new. And so it's, but it, it gets me excited just kind of thinking about what we're going to work on on day to day so Ethan, this program is coming off back-to-back -back top five finishes for the first time in program history so much excitement around this program heading into the year is that something that motivates this group and and how excited are you to head into it to a new season uh into your junior year yes sir uh we're hoping to use that momentum off the last two top five finishes at conference to hopefully place a couple uh conference uh what were you saying like Top three finishes. Yeah, we we uh, we had our first um, one all conference swimmer, and so we're trying to jump to like jump up and get some more. We get haven't had more. one in a little yeah. while, and then just get more finals. Okay, get some finalists. Uh, top three finishes in the relays and personal, individual races. Uh, coming off of those two wins, we have a lot of momentum, and we're excited to train and get back at the pool. You know, we've had curveballs thrown at us, such as uh, the pool being closed and a lot of changes within our own team and the conference, all of everyone's teams. So, so we're going through right now. Chloe, for you coming off your first season at the collegiate level, what did you learn uh, over the course of last year as a freshman that will help give you confidence uh, heading into to this year's sophomore season? How excited are you to get underway? And, and what did you learn, uh, you know, coming into to this year's sophomore campaign? Well, the main thing I learned is, I guess last year I wasn't really as prepared for competing as I am this year and I've just gained a lot of confidence because over the summer I worked really hard and I went to the pool quite a few times each week just trying to practice and improve so I feel like just being more prepared this season that'll help me to do better at conference and place higher. Coach we talk about the, the men's program at, when having back-to-back -to -back top five finishes for the first time in program history the women's program as well very successful last year their best finish in program history, finishing fourth at the SCAC championships. How do you continue to take those next steps with these programs? Uh, what are you looking for from these teams? How do you continue to push the bar higher uh, with the success that you've had uh, in recent history? Oh, yeah. And every every season, you know, I graduate a great, great group of athletes. And then it's like, oh, we've got to reset. We just lost some of our top people. And, and so we got to look at who's going to take who's going to take that next spot in line, who's going to jump up to the occasion. And so we look at different ways to move them forward, to help them get their best times and start pushing more towards school records and all and all that. And so I just kind of look at each individual athlete. We have um, goal meetings early in the season and we kind of check up throughout the season. You know, what are we doing? What can we do differently to help uh, reach those goals and to help each other reach the goals, not just focus on yourself, but focus on the team as a whole and I think when they look at it like that, it helps keep them motivated, helps move forward because 
uh, you're, you're looking at the teams, um, the team as a whole and not just yourself. And it helps push you. You like to have fun. Your, your teammates, you know, they, they work with you. They keep things lively, you joke, and it kind of just helps keep you moving forward. And then you, you start replacing those ones that, that, um, that graduated and, and you start, um, keep, you keep moving forward. Ethan, as you head into your first year as an upperclassman, your junior season, you know, having gone through your first two years and understanding the ebbs and flows of a season, how do you kind of maybe shoulder a little bit of a leadership uh, responsibility this year, help some of those younger athletes kind of go through the course of a year knowing that, hey, I may not PR at the beginning of the season, but it's a long road and, and you continue to, to work and grind uh, and eventually get prepared for that championship season. How are, how are you uh, looking forward to, to handling that responsibility this year? For sure. Uh, knowing like when I came in as a freshman and sophomore, like you're saying about the PRs, you come in and you're beat down the first couple of meets and you're not doing that great. Well, you can't think about those meets. You have to think about the finished product at the end of the season conference. That's when we're trying to go our best times and everything. So right now, being an upperclassman now, like I've noticed that it happens a lot at the first couple meets. The freshmen are down. They aren't going their best times like they were in high school or wherever they transferred in from. And they're just not happy with themselves. And I've noticed I'm, I've been there a couple of times and I'm like, hey, we're not worried about right now. We're worried about the finished product. You're sore and tired. Just keep pushing. Let's motivate ourselves. Let's get through this hump, you know, this slump we're in and get on top of our training when we get back to the pool. And I mean, I even find myself being in that own, my own mindset of I'm not doing the greatest right now. I have to push through this. And I think leading by example is a big part of it. You know, come to practice every day, train your hardest, show up, go to weights every day, lift heavy. And then you'll motivate those younger guys to follow through with the same process, hopefully. Chloe, for you coming off of uh, an outstanding year in your first season there at Ozarks, what did you work on over the course of the offseason, over the summer to continue to work at, get better uh, as far as things within the pool that give you confidence uh, coming into your sophomore campaign? Well, I'm a backstroker, so I worked a lot on backstroke, my starts and turns, and also just the technique of that and trying to improve my technique to just make my stroke more efficient. And also I'm a runner. I also do cross country. So I run a lot. And then I also did a lot of weight training to try to build up my strength and make myself stronger. So it's just easier for me to swim. And I feel like running also helps with swimming a lot just because it builds up my stamina and I'm able to go longer than I would be without that there. Coach, finally wrapping things up with you. This, these seasons are successful if what plays out uh, in the pool for these groups. Uh, you know, what are you looking for either in the pool or out of the pool that you know, helps continue to, to build these programs going into the year that will make 2023-24 successful? Uh, definitely just the, the closeness between the team. You know, I want everybody to work together well, you know, want to hang out with each other, want to help push each other, but just, just in general being a team, going up there, cheering for each other, it, whether it be in practice or at a meet, you know, pushing each other, getting those training partners in practice and in the weight room. And then also in the classroom, that's one big thing that I push. And I mean, we just have midterm grades come out. So I'm having all those conversations, you know, help motivated people and, you know, and tell people when they're doing a good job. And we, we have some high goals academically. I push on them every year. We've been the top the top GPA on campus for the ladies in the past. And so I'm trying to set some higher goals um, throughout the whole, all of NCAA and our guys are definitely right behind them. We just keep pushing up there. And, and so we definitely want to focus heavily in the classroom. And so we work on uh, motivating each other in that aspect as well. And finally wrapping things up with the student athletes as you I've had conversations with your teammates uh, and some of the leaders in this group about some of the goals for these teams. What do those conversations look like and what will be key in order to accomplishing those goals heading into the year? Uh, on the men's side, we have a lot of goals to try to break some relay records this year, uh, school relay records, and also personal school records. Uh, we we want to place top five at conference and have individual wins at conference, uh, top three at least or better. And we're just training really hard right now, get those times down, 
a lot of pacing. And our goals are set high this year. We're just looking for improvement. Um, for the girls, last year we placed fourth in conference. We're looking to either hold that placement or maybe possibly get higher if we can. And we're also looking for more uh, finals finishes. And we're looking for our first all-conference finish for the women's side. And also just there are a lot of school records that everyone's close to. A lot of the people on the team are just less than a second off of a lot of the program records. So we're looking to hopefully break some of those individual records and also relay records because we're really close to those as well. The University of Ozarks men's women's swimming and diving programs. Again, the Ozarks will be led as they head into the season of the guidance by head coach David DeGeist, along with the senior leadership or the junior leadership of Ethan Spillers and leadership from sophomore Chloe Weathers. Coach Ethan, Chloe, thanks so much for joining us today and best of luck as you head into the year. Thank you. Uh, thank you.